We want to find the probability that between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m., first of all, exactly four customers arrive. Now, before I can start calculating any probabilities, I need to identify the distribution that we're going to be using properly. So we're going to take x to be the number of arrivals. And so x is going to be distributed with a Poisson distribution. And it's 0.1. The mean is to calculate it by doing 0.1 times the number of minutes. So we're looking at a one hour period, so I'm going to do 0.1 times 60. This gives me that x has a Poisson distribution with a mean of 6. So we can now answer part A, where it says we want to find the probability that exactly four customers arrive. Remember, whenever you're calculating the probability of exactly anything for the binomial or the Poisson, use the formula. Practice it because in some questions it specifies that you have to do it without the tables. So the formula for the Poisson is e to the power of minus the mean, which is e to the power of minus 6, multiplied by the mean to the power of the number of arrivals, which is 4, over the number of arrivals, which is 4, factorial. When I put this into my calculator and I work this through, I get an answer of 0 0.134, correct to three decimal places. Let's have a look at how we get the marks here. Well, first of all, we get a standalone statement mark for identifying that we have this distribution x with a Poisson mean of six. Second of all, we are going to get a method mark for demonstrating the correct use of the formula. And thirdly, we're going to get an accuracy mark for that correctly rounded answer that we have evaluated. Now, part two. Part two says to find the probability that the number of arrivals lies between two and eight inclusive. So this is probability that x is greater than or equal to two, but less than or equal to eight. We are going to calculate this by using the tables to take the reading for probability x less than or equal to eight, and then subtracting the values probability that it, x is less than 2, so x is less than or equal to 1. So let's use our tables to get readings for these two probabilities. In this question, we're looking to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 8 and s is le x is less than or equal to 1 for Poisson mean of 6. So if we look across the top for the Poisson mean, you can see that Poisson mean of 6 is in this first column. So really, there's no need for me to rule or do anything on the right hand side of this column to make sure that I don't come across any further because I'm just coming to the first column. The two readings I need to take is the probability that x is less than or equal to 8. So if I look for the x value down the left hand side, x is less than or equal to 8, we can see just coming across here that we're looking for a value of 0 0.8472. And then we're going to subtract the probability x is less than or equal to 1. So just going up to the where x is equal to 1 we can see we're looking at a probability of 0.0174. Okay, so let's continue on with the question. Probability that we get x less than or equal to 8 is 0.8472. Take away the probability that x is less than or equal to 1, which is 0.0174. When I perform this calculation, we get an answer of 0.8298 to four decimal places. How do we get our marks in this question? Well, we get statement marks for the two correct readings. So one for the first one, one for the second one. And then finally, we get a standalone statement mark as well for that correct answer at the end. Finally, part B. Part B says x denotes the number of customers arriving between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. Write down the value of expectation of x and hence find the value of expectation of x squared. So, this is x with a Poisson mean of 0 0.1 times the number of hours. So, from, uh, sorry, number of minutes. So, number of minutes from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. is 120. So we get 0 0.1 times 120. 
So this means x distributed with a Poisson mean of 12. What this actually indicates to us is first of all that the expectation of x is 12 because the expectation is the mean but also in the Poisson distribution we need to remember that the variance of x is also equal to the mean so that is equal to 12. Now it asks us to write down the value expectation of x which is 12 it wants us to find the expectation of x squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the standard definition of the variance of x that we use for discrete random variables and continuous random variables. Variance of x is equal to e of x squared minus the expectation of uh, expectation squared of x. And so actually what we can say is by adding expectation squared of x to both sides that the e of x squared is actually equal to the variance of x plus the expectation of x squared. Now what I actually know is, in that case, that the expectation of x squared, the variance of x we've already identified is equal to 12 plus the expectation of x squared, so we get the expectation of x squared is equal to 12 plus 144, which is 156. Three marks for this question. How do we get those marks? Well, the first mark is, identify, is for identifying that the expectation of x so we have a standalone statement mark here. The expectation of x is equal to 12. Then we are going to get a method mark for identifying that the expectation of x squared will be equal to the variance of x plus the expectation squared of x. And then we are going to get an accuracy mark for getting our answer that the expectation of x squared is 156. I hope that all made sense and that you understood it all.